Rooftop fire destroys two buildings in San Pete County. So far, 1,000 acres have burned, but according to our lieutenant governor, it could have been worse. Here is a look at pictures he tweeted out this morning. Actually, these are pictures of the fire yesterday as those flames were coaching so close to homes. He did send out this picture showing that homes were saved after the all-volunteer San Pete Fire Department was there to help and more help is on its way. Sarah Martin is live for us and Sarah, what's the latest on that firefight today? The hilltop fire, as you said, has burned about a thousand acres. I'm standing at the Indianola Fire Department. You can see this haze behind me. This smoke has really settled in the valley here. It's pretty impressive, but firefighters are enjoying the cooler temperatures this morning, getting a handle on things here. There have been evacuations are still in place from yesterday. Fire crews on, are working today on the north side of the fire. There have 95 personnel out today. 16 engines, four dozers, one helicopter, and a hand crew. And I'm here today. We have an interview with Kelly. He's one of our incident commanders. Kelly, if you want to come on over. How are you doing this morning? Good, how are you? Thanks so much for doing this for oh, us. So give me a little bit of an update. How are we feeling this morning about the progress of the fire? Um, everything's looking really good this morning. We, we took a flight early this morning, uh, uh, you know, looked at the perimeter. Uh, there was only one little spot that was a little bit active, but everything else was kind of uh, held up at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, and crews are getting in there uh, right now and getting in on some of that. Uh, also, starting to get the, the helicopter, you know, doing some of the bucket work on that, uh, uh, on that area of, of concern there. And uh, so everything's looking real good. It, it, I know it burned active all night, uh, or most of the night. Uh, but uh, there's cooler temps in the morning, you know, kind of check things up. And so we, we got a good head start this morning as far as for, for our crews. Great. That's good to hear. So can you talk to me about the places that are still evacuated? Just an update there. Uh, so right now, uh, the Black Hawk Estates is evacuated. Everything uh, north of Hilltop Road and then west of Milbourne uh, Road are all evacuated right now. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, Kelly. I appreciate it. That's your update on the Hilltop Fire this morning. Toss it back to you guys in the studio. Okay, Sarah Martin reporting live for us there in San Pete County. Make sure you stay tuned throughout the day right here on News for Utah. We will have live updates on the Hilltop Fire, including the latest on evacuations.